A U.S. congressman has said that the U.S. wants to make sure the General Electric engine deal with India is done as soon as possible, so that the U.S. firm don't lose out to European engine manufacturers like Rolls-Royce or Safran. The U.S. administration is working to make sure that the deal gets done before the visit of Prime Minister Modi to the U.S. in June, during which PM Modi will also speak to the United States Congress. General Electric officials have said that the deal will include local manufacturing of F-414 engines with the transfer of technology for the Tejas Mark II and AMCA program. South Korea's Agency for Defense Development is collaborating with India in international joint research to develop high-hardness steel and ultra-high-hardness armor plate technology. The ultra-high hardness armor plate already underwent testing on a modular armor structure in India, which confirmed its strength and hardness, that has the benefit of significantly reducing the heat treatment time by over 100 times. This technology incorporates nanotechnology with large metal materials such as steel armor plates, making it an advanced technology that can enhance the performance of weapon systems in the future. Indian firm Astra Premier has developed an unmanned ground vehicle system known as Raksaka, that consists of four-wheel differential drive, onboard processor, ultrasonic sensors and infrared sensors, GPS navigation and battery management system. It can carry a payload of 100 kg, and has a battery backup of 8 hours. It has a high and compact computer on board that allows easy processing of high volume of data received from sensors and stereo camera systems. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has impacted military supplies to India from both the countries, and the biggest impact has been on the Indian Air Force, which depends on a lot of Russian and Ukrainian supplies for spare parts for its fighter jets and transport aircraft. Officials have said that efforts are underway to source some of the spares from a third country and reduce dependence on Russia and Ukraine. The Indian Air Force chief has said that the Air Force is actively working on advancing specialized technologies related to space-based capabilities, data connectivity, and decision-making support systems based on artificial intelligence and had been attempting to establish an agreement among the three service chiefs for the creation of a joint space force, to protect the country's interests in space, as well as conducting space-based operations such as reconnaissance surveillance and communication. New CGI released through official Chinese Navy channels, suggests that the Chinese Navy is going for a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, that will be able to launch the J-31 stealth aircraft. The Indian Navy had also planned to operate aircraft carriers with nuclear propulsion, but its budget constraints hindered the realization of these plans, mainly due to the high cost and the funding required for developing a nuclear reactor. Nuclear-powered aircraft carrier can operate for up to 25 years without refueling, and can project power over greater distances without the need for frequent refueling stops. Oh, my God.